Okay, so let's try the next coding exercise. So open the litcode.com and go to the problems tab. And here you can like uh, search for question number 189. So the question 189 says rotate array. It's come under the medium category. So click on it. So let's read the question. So uh, it says uh, given an integer array nums. So we have nums array given. Rotate the array to the right by k steps where k is the no negative number so we need to rotate the array by k steps so some k is given all right so as an example so this array is given one two three four five six seven so k is equal to three so if we rotate the array uh, three times so what could be the output so if you go to the whiteboard so just uh, like uh, look at this example the example at here so for the given error is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, k is equal to 3. So we need to do the three rotation. So when would when would perform the first rotation? So as soon as we rotate, 7 will come here. That is the first rotation. 7 will come here and all the remaining element will shift it. In the second rotation, 6 will come here. And all the remaining element will shift it. So 6, 7, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. In the third rotation, Five will come here and all the remaining element will be shifted. So the output error is five, six, seven, one, two, three, four. All right. So like uh, this is our output. So after like uh, k rotation, that is the k where k is equal to three. Okay. So let's look at the second example. Nums is equal to minus one minus hundred three ninety nine and k is equal to two. So it means we need to rotate the array by two. So we need to perform the two rotations. So first rotation nineteen will come here. And 3 will go at 99 place, then minus 100. In the second rotation, so the output will be 3, 99, minus 100. So you can even, so here, like uh, they have given the detailed explanation. So rotate first steps to the right. So 99 will come here, then minus 1, minus 103. After that, 3 will come here. Then all the elements will be shifted by right, 3, 99, minus 100. Okay, so if you closely look, if you closely look here, so if k is equal to 3, so the last three elements come at beginning and the remaining element attached after that. All right. So this is the output. Even if you look at this example, k is equal to two. So last two elements, three and 19, come in beginning and the remaining element minus 100 attached after that. So one approach is we can like, what we can do is we can slice the array. Okay. If k is equal to three, we can slice the array. Uh, uh like uh, uh we can basically like uh, do the calculation by okay length of the array and minus three we can uh, uh, get this this part by slicing and we can get like uh, this part using the slicing and we can attach both the elements so first we need to attach the last part and after that we need to attach the, uh, the first part so one approach is this what if you read the question carefully so one minute let me rub this so if you read the question carefully, so here, uh, try to come up with as many possibility as you can. There are at least three different ways to solve this problem. Could you do it in place with O over extra space? So if you slice the array, so basically you like uh, take two array, temp one, temp two. So in the temp one, you can put this. In the temp two, you are going to put this and then you are going to like uh, merge both temp one and uh, temp two plus temp one. So you are using some extra space, all right? So even like the function definition, if you read the function definition, it is mentioned, do not return anything, modify nums in place instead. So we need to do the in place. So to do the in place, we need to do like a, a kind of a swapping, which element like goes here, which element goes here, all right? So how to do the swapping like because we can't swap like a seven by one all right so we can't swap uh, like a seven by one because if you do swap seven by one then one will come here but we need uh, like one here so how you are going to do that so there is just a, like a very little trick uh, in this question and after that you are going to know uh, like uh, how the swapping is going to be work so the trick is so you look at this example so this example says 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 so we have this array is given and k is equal to 3 so whatever the array is given just reverse it 
just reverse it, reverse it. So our array is seven six five four three two one. So now we have reversed the array. All right. So now we have reversed the array. Now if you if you if you want to make this array, this array, the, because our output is this. If you want to make this array from this array, how we are going to do? So if because seven six five, and now here is five six seven. Here is four three two one. And here is one two three four. So basically, as soon as we reverse the array, then then we can swap. So basically, we need to swap five with seven, one with four, and two with three. So basically, we need to start from here, and then start from here. All right. As soon as both the uh, both the like the start index and the end index uh, like crosses each other, uh, we need to start swapping. So. As an example, so first we like reverse the array. So once we reverse the array, seven six five four three two one. Okay, so we take like start element this and element is this because k is equal to three. So we need to like do the reverse in two two like uh, two pieces. First like first three element and then the remaining the remaining elements. And for these three elements, what we have to do because like how we are how we are going to know we need to reverse the array because for this five six seven like to do the rotation this is coming like uh, in front and one two three four is coming at last so let's reverse the array and then we are going to swap so we did seven six five four three two one so but now we need to swap so this is the start index and this is the end index all right so we are like uh, both the start and the end pointer will like uh, cross each other so a start is less than end yes so let's swap so five and seven now start we will like a decrease uh, increase start by one and decrease end by one okay so now the start and end pointer are six so if the start is like less than six no so our swap our like a swapping will finish so our output is five six seven by one swapping okay now we need to swap these elements right so our starting start as four and that one so let's move so the start index uh, like zero one two three four and this is seven so or four five six or six four is uh, like less than six so we need to swap so we are swapping one and four three and two will be remain same now we are going to increment our pointer uh, start index will come here and decrement the end pointer so end pointer will come here now we will check again whether the start index so start index at like fourth position so fourth is like uh, less than five so again we are going to swap so now two will come here and three will come here right now again we are going to increment start and the index. So start will come here, and the end will come here. So if start is less than end, uh, no. So start is not less than end. So we are going to finish our loop. Right. So we need to like uh, do this uh, operation. But one more, one more thing uh, before like uh, uh, because this is the in place. We are not uh, using any temporary space. So we can use the temporary space. Let's suppose if the question doesn't say uh, like. Because in the question, they said you don't need to return anything. All right. You need to like update the same like uh, array. All right. Uh, nums array. So if the question does not like if the question say, okay, you can return the array output array. That is fine. And you can use the extra space. Then it is fine. We can take the two array temp one, temp two. We can do the slicing and we can join the array and we can return that. But the question say you don't need, you don't need to return anything, but do in num in place. So in place means you don't need to use the extra memory, and you need to find a way uh, how you are going to like swap. Or generally, when when it's from the in place now, so the two pointer approach will come into the picture, and we need to, to rotate. So rotate means like one element will go somewhere else, other element will go somewhere else. So basically, swapping will like uh, happen. So the only the tr trick is this thing. That's it. So as soon as we reverse the array, suddenly it came into mind. Now we have the seven six five, but we need five six seven. We have the four three two one. We need one two three four. Okay, how we are going to achieve? Let's swap in two pieces. All right. One one thing uh, here, if you observe, so if you go to the constraints, so k could be ten to power five. K could be ten to power five. So let's suppose we have like example uh, array, this array, uh, one two three four five six seven. And if we mention k is equal to 20, it means we need, we need to rotate the array 20 times. So do we really need to perform rotate the array 20 times? Because there are seven elements. If we rotate first 
seven times, then the array will be the same only. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. If you rotate next seven times, again the array will be same. So 14. All right. Now, so 20 minus 14 is equal to 6. All right. So only if we rotate array six times, then we, we, we will get the output. So basically, first we will like do is whatever the k we have given, we can like uh, take the modulus by the length of the array and we will get the actual k. We will get the actual k. How many times we need to like rotate the array? Because k is 20 and the number of element is less. So unnecessary like more rotation because if we do first seven, then the actual element, actual array will be again 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Then why it is mentioned 20? Why they have not mentioned 14? Right? Or uh, like 20 minus 7 is equal to like uh, uh, like 13. Why they have not mentioned 13? Again, we will like uh, do by 7, 7 rotation. Again, we will get the same array 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Then why they have not mentioned k is equal to 6? So they have not mentioned k is equal to 6. We need to figure it out. But is the actual like a number of rotation because the other rotations are unnecessary. All right. Okay. So let's uh, do that. So we are going to perform uh, this one, uh, like this one. How you are going to do that? So go here. So first approach is we need to find the actual k. Find the actual k. So actual k is because sometimes the k could be uh, k could be like a more uh, than the length of the array. So what we can do is k is equal to k modulus length of n. Length of n, not n, and length of nums. So this is going to give you the actual array. If, even if the k is 7, and sorry, length is 7, and k is equal to 3, then 3 modulus 7 is 3 only. All right. So in that case, it's it will not going to change. This is going to be changed if the k is greater than the length of the 7. Fine. Now we need to do the reverse. Reverse, sorry, reverse the entire list. Because first operation is we need to reverse the entire list. So, okay, how we are going to reverse the entire list? Similarly, we are going to use the inbuilt, inbuilt function. So, num dot reverse. Okay. Now we need to reverse the so once we like reverse the entire list, we need to reverse the first three element. What is three here? K, K is equal to three. So we need to first uh, first three element. But index is zero, one, two. So reverse the first K elements. First K elements. So we will call some function that this is the custom reverse function. We will pass that nums. We will pass that nums. And we will pass the start index. So start index will be zero. Our start index will be zero. And what is the end index? End index will be k minus one because k is three. So this is zero one two. This is the second index. Okay. After that, so once that is that is going to be done, we need to reverse the remaining elements. So we will call the some same function nums. Now from where we need to start? So we need to start from the k is equal to three, k is like k k, and till what point? So length of nums minus one. Why we are doing minus one? Because of the like uh, because seven is the uh, like this position for the place, right? Okay. So now we need to write the uh, like uh, reverse function. Reverse. Okay. Uh, now we need to write the this reverse function. So it will take nums, it will take start position, it will take end position. All right. So we need to run a while loop because we don't know what is the length of the, this. Like, uh, so we are going to like just uh, uh, like start like pointing both the uh, start moving both the pointer parallelly. Start at the end. So while start less than end. If start is less than end, if start this is the start, and this is the end. If start is less than end. Reverse both the position. Uh, basically replace or swap. So how to swap? Nums of start. Nums of end is equal to nums of end comma nums of start. So both the position has been swapped. So as soon as once the both the position has been swapped, we need to increment our start pointer and we need to decrement our end pointer. So start 
क्लास एंड वी नीड टू इफ वी जस्ट आर दिस फंक्शन इट इज गोइंग टू बी फेल बिकॉज दे सेट आई एम एबल टू फाइंड द रिवर्स सो इफ यू रन दिस लेट मी शो यू दर सो दे सेट नेम रिवर्स इज नॉट डिफाइंड सो इट कुड नॉट फाइंड दिस फंक्शन बिकॉज वी नीड टू कॉल दिस फंक्शन यूजिंग सेल्फ डोट सेल्फ डोट बिकॉज वी आर इन द क्लास and so if we mention self so either we need to pass self here correct but i don't want to the pass self here we can mention it as a static method because we know this is the internal custom function uh, only for this class and uh, no like uh, and it is being used by like internal method only and it is not being called by the object so let's call that run Our sample case has been accepted, so let's try to sum it. So our solution has been accepted, and we beat ninety three percent of the people uh, in the run time. And memory still it take more, uh, maybe because of this by take reverse. Uh, yeah. So, but this is the like uh, 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 the only trick. In so there are basically two. two things which we need to figure it out one 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 thing like people can easily figure it out uh, which is this uh, like uh, this thing if the k is more so how many actual rotation we need so we can like easily okay let's do the like find the remainder uh, how to find the remainder by doing the mod less so this thing can be easily figure it out okay the other thing is how how to do the rotation how to do the rotation all right So to do the addition, the one thing is it come in mind is okay. Let's do a reverse the array because this element will come first and this will come last. So let's reverse the array and then we can rotate. So as soon as we reverse the array, after that if we com compare this with our solution, this with our solution by closely monitoring, by closely monitoring, if we, if we take single line by closely monitoring, we figure it out. Okay, it is just a swapping of alternate position. Then we come up to come up the conclusion. So we need to reverse the array and then swapping. So the same thing we did. We find the first the actual k, uh, reverse the entire list, uh, reverse first first set of element and the reverse second set of elements. Uh, that's it. That's the end of the video. You can also try this question. It's the medium category. So avoid the medium category because of they said we need to do the in place. If they did not say it the in place, if they said just to return the array, we can normally do the slice. Take this slice, take this slice, uh, like uh, join it and return it. That's it. Then it's the easy question. But if the in place, we need to like uh, think a little bit more. Okay, how to do the in place? And for the in place, we need we know in place means some swapping concept will become right, and uh, some two pointers might will become so. Okay, now the we know swapping process will become two pointer will become. But where actually we need to put so. by this logic we need to think okay what approach we can follow so that's it that's the end of the video oh, thank you